Hey, what's up, guys? Sure, Shubhishan Shack here, and today I will be showing you how to install um, your bootloader, um, how to install Barry Boot on your micro SD card and boot it up on your Raspberry Pi. My Raspberry Pi is right here. So let's get right into this tutorial. First, now you'll want to plug your micro SD card into your computer. It might take some time, but I did it. Okay, then I'll spot. So, uh, I should have mine. Oh, it's not here. But, uh, be because your SD card is new, you should find, uh, you should find the file on your, here. I just formatted mine, so you can't find it. Okay, so now you're going to want to download the SD card formatter from a website today. I don't really know what, yeah, it's right here. So now once you download this, uh, now, once you download this uh, SD card formatter, if you click I accept and you download the SD card formatter, it'll show up. You can find the packaging file. Then, if you search up SD card formatter, it'll show up. You just have to enter your password. Once you enter your password, it'll show up. It is not found in any media because mine is already written. So now you can do crit format and format. It'll take about 30 seconds to format the card. Then now you're going to want to open up your folder. I don't have mine again. So I'm just going to use my iCloud drive. And now you're going to open this and now you're going to copy everything and drag everything into your folder after you format it. It'll take some time. And after that you can adjust your micro USB. I have my micro USB right here. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so now once we have that, we can plug it into our Raspberry Pi. My Raspberry Pi is right here. Sorry, I'm recording my screen on the Mac, and it's pretty hard. Actually, uh, the one which goes in first time full screen, so you guys can actually see it. Oh, uh, sorry, it's taking so long, but it's pretty hard. <laughs> But I'll just do, I'll just go to a quick time. I'll do movie recording for you guys. Okay, now you guys can see me perfectly. Okay, so let's see here. Since I have this, I'm going to take my Raspberry Pi board, Pi 2 actually. I want to take the micro SD card and slide it into it. I call it from the side down. The side is right. Okay, so now since everything's plugged in here, the only thing we have left to do is just plug in our power cable. So we'll just plug in the micro USB power cable. And if you see a green light, that means it's working. So now we'll turn on our TV. And let's watch it work. Okay, so now we're here. We're at the very boot loading screen. And uh, if you see the green borders at the top and bottom, you have to click yes. It'll disable the over scan. And the network connection, I'm using wired. I use some Ethernet cable right here. And then uh, audio, I'll just use HDMI. Okay, I have America plus New York as my time zone. My keyboard layout is that. And if you want to test your keyboard, you can write in it like this. It'll write. Oh, God, you can't see anything. You can write here, test your keyboard. Okay, so now you can click. Okay, and proceed with the procedures. And now you can just click this. Your first SD card. Now you'll format it. It'll put your operating system on your desktop. And yeah, as you see, this will take some time, this process. Sorry about the video quality. It's the really bad part. Oh. Okay, so it is formatting as you see. Finishing writing the disk. Okay, and we will now install some operating systems. So the pop up, we can install this. And later we can install some more. For example, I am I will download Android Kid Gatsby. And if I can find Arch, I'll use Arch too. 
A retro player, I'm not done with that. So there are a lot of useful uh, stuff for you here. There are a lot of useful OSs for you here that you can download. That you can uh, download, download for your Pi. I myself will download a few before just to install one of them. See? You have to click OK. Now it'll start downloading your files. I'll just let you guys watch if you do because you guys are doing this in parallel obviously. It takes way too long. Now it's downloading. Sorry you guys can't see anything, but it'll work. I can't record this, but sorry. I do this is pretty fast. Download speeds. And these are, but it's still pretty slow. You can see it's still pretty slow. It's recording, it's downloading. It's only 38 percent, but it's pretty fast compared to about a gigabit. On Mac, it would take 30 minutes, but since it's connected via Ethernet, it's pretty fast. Now, as you have to keep in mind, if you're using wireless download, you have to feel free to be much slower. Amma, breakfast bite it down. One second. You can see it's almost halfway done. And I'll be right back when it finishes this install. Here, it downloads pretty fast, as you see.
Okay, so now we are bookmending about back the menu editor. And from here on out, we're just going to click Add OS. Uh, I'm going to add an OS for myself. I'm going to add I'll just download Ubuntu. No. I will use what's Mink. I'll download Mink. Uh Uh, I'll just download uh, Ubuntu, uh, I think open a lec. It's a media center for myself. Or I'll just download Ubuntu. Okay, I'll click OK. But I'll do it after you guys. Okay, so now we can uh, take this. And now you can click edit it. Now it'll have a reboot. Sorry, but we'll reboot. Okay. My camera's over here, and then I'll look like boot. Okay, now it'll run into Raspbian. Okay, so we're back and we're at the Raspberry Pi configuration tool, um, also called Raspi. And so here now we are going to set our default options. Here's what you should do. So we should, um, not here, we should, uh, go on your computer's user password. I will, first of all, I will configure my advanced settings. Here you go to, uh, let's name. But you have to enable SSH client. Okay, our SSH repo is enabled. Now, if we go back to advanced options, you can, you can force audio at HDMI. Okay, now we're done. All we have to do is click finish. And we have to do a pseudo reboot to make everything work. It is rebooting. As you see, it'll reboot now. And it will boot into Berry Boot. Now we can boot up that. Okay, now we can log into the NumPy and password Raspberry. Just like Stardex. And now we are into our operating system. We are into our Raspberry. Now you can also install multiple OSs at the beginning of the start screen. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. As always, please don't like to subscribe, share, and um, ex ex share with your friends. Comment. I just to subscribe. I really want these. Please. Thanks. Bye.